Hi, I'm Eric Siegel with Ericstrains.com and welcome to Volume 10 of Eric's Trains Express. Alright, so what do we have here? Well, some of you may be familiar with these and others may not. These are little miniature figurines that are called homies. And they were created by a guy named David Gonzalez back around 1998. They were based on a comic strip that he had done. And they're little figures. They're about two inches tall. Some are a little less. And they're based on sort of Chicano, Latino, Mexican-American people. And as you can see, they're quite colorful and they're, they're quite humorous, a lot of them. They're doing all sorts of interesting things. Now, I used to collect these. I started collecting them around 2000. They were originally sold in gumball vending machines in grocery stores, and that's where I started getting them. But then later, there was a website, and I started buying them directly from the website. And as you can see, I've got quite a few of them. And this is not all of them. I've actually got some that are still in the original packaging. But I had these in my old apartment when I lived downtown. And then when I moved into this house, I put them all in a shoebox and sort of forgot about them. And then recently, I saw that a fellow hobbyist named Jim Castro was actually using some homies figures on his layout. And that got me thinking and I said, gosh, I forgot all about those things. I've got a whole shoebox full of those things somewhere around here. So I dug around and I finally found them and so here they are. Now these are not quite O scale. They're a little large for O scale, I guess in terms of scale feet. Each of these figures is about seven feet tall, so they're a little on the tall side for O-scale, but if you use them wisely on your layout, they should fit in just fine. And as you can see, they're doing all sorts of fun stuff. I mean, we've got a guy spinning records here. We've got a, a girl with twins in a stroller. Got a couple dogs. We've got a guy laying down, got an ice cream man. We've got a couple getting married. That could go outside of a church. This is really funny. We've got the Grim Reaper over here. <laughs> I guess I could put him at a grade crossing. Maybe he'd fit in there. <laughs> got a cheerleader. This one's really cool. It's kind of this chili pepper next to a cactus. And I looked at this and I thought this would be great to put outside of like a Mexican restaurant on the way out. Sort of like a little statue mascot for the restaurant. How cool is that? And there's all sorts of other interesting figures. Got a little garbage can. There's a guy getting a haircut at the barber shop. All sorts of cool things. And so what I want to do is start using them on my layout in certain locations, especially as I start adding more buildings in the near future. Now, some other stuff I want to show you. Well, first up, here's some of those ones that I have that are still in the original packages. Pretty cool. And then they also did some other series as well. So this is a pool hall series. Now these are way too big for O scale but they might be good for something like G-Scale or something like that. And then, something that's pretty neat, now it doesn't apply to me, but it might apply to some of you guys. They did a series called Homey Rollers, and these are actually 1 64th scale, so these are S-Scale. So for any of you that have S-Scale layouts, you can actually use these and they are perfectly to scale, and it comes with a car and two figures. Here are some of the S-Scale figures and cars out of the box. And as you can see, they look great. I could probably get away with using some of these figures on the layout if I use them deep in the layout to get some forced perspective. The cars are way too small for O scale, but if I put these way back in the layout, I might be able to get away with them. But if you're doing S scale, these would work perfectly. Now, if you're wondering where you can purchase these, well, you can go to the Homies website, which is www.homies.tv. Or a lot of times you can find these on eBay and they will cost a lot less because oftentimes people will be selling a whole bag full of them because they've had them sitting around for years and now they just want to get rid of them. So eBay is a really good place to look for these. All right, so there you have it. Like I said, I'm going to start working these figures into some scenes on the layout, especially as I start to get more buildings installed on the layout in the near future. So that should be a lot of fun. And once again, I'd like to thank Jim Castro for giving me the idea and reminding me that I had a whole shoebox full of these things that were sitting unused, and it's great to finally have a use for them on the layout. But for now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time.